Hello and welcome to my new video, How to Draw a Knight on Horseback. This drawing is all about tonal shading, how to control the light and dark within a drawing. To give some illusion of the shiny, reflective quality of metal, I need to make a graded shading with a 4B pencil, going from very dark to light and back again, sometimes very slowly graded and other times with a jump in tonal grading. For this drawing I'm using a 4B pencil which can go very dark and also very light in a graded way and I'm using a grey piece of paper so it's not pure white, bright white, it's a light mid-tone. To achieve a full tonal range within my picture I can use a white soft pastel to create the highlights which will be very useful to make the metal seem very shiny and also later on when I do some areas of the horse to make it more lifelike. So to start my drawing I start with a line drawing of the head, the helmet and then work my way down through the body of the knight trying to break it down into shapes which would be shapes of armour which will make sense when they become a tonal shaded drawing later on. Before I start the tonal shading of this drawing, I need to define the shapes that I've already drawn with a little bit more definition and to add some smaller shapes or smaller details so that I've got a range of interesting shapes that I can shade in later. So the first pencil marks of the night were quite soft in tone and now I'm defining them by pressing down with the pencil a little bit harder, trying to keep clearly defined edges so that the tonal range that I put on later on has a place to finish and end at. A lot of the shapes within armour are quite spiky and have quite strong angles, so I'm trying to keep some of that spiky, strong angled um, quality to my drawing. I need to add in the horse that my knight is sitting on just so that the drawing makes some sense, his posture makes some sense. And then I need to add in a few things that I've forgotten like his other hand and the lance that he is holding. Once you are confident that you've got the shapes that you want and the knight that you're drawing, then the next stage is to move on to the tonal range that we talked about at the beginning of this video. keeping an interesting wide range of tones that are gradual and then suddenly jump will create that metallic effect that we're looking for. I hope you enjoy this drawing and that you have a go too. There are many ways to draw, this is just one way. And see you next time.